He's talking about recordings, photographs, people's experiences, very visceral experiences. He talks about people being thrown through the air, levitating, all that, all that kind of stuff. I'd love to see some stuff that I can't explain away. And, uh, you know, it's fun, isn't it? A former host of one of America's biggest paranormal radio shows, Lou's investigated thousands of haunted houses, witnessed numerous exorcisms, and spent a lifetime living at the paranormal edge. So as Halloween approaches, this 40-year-old is uniquely qualified to take me on a journey into evidence of the ghostly and demonic. Yeah, I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Oh, this yeah. is amazing. Oh, yeah, well, it's, you know, it's for the kids. It's for Halloween, and, you know, now that I have a decent-sized house, I can go ahead and put up some decent-sized Halloween decorations. You are going to have an experience that's going to leave you questioning reality. I'm a demonologist, yeah. OK? Being a demonologist, is, it's, it's the hardcore stuff. It's, yeah. it's things that you can't just read in a book, and all of a sudden, you're a demonologist. There's, there's cases sometimes where I go out on where I actually have to literally make these things get violent yeah. so that it comes out and it can be taken care of. And you've seen this, haven't you? You've seen yeah, a lot yeah. of violent. Yes. So tell me some of the things you've seen. I've been it's... thrown, kicked, punched, um, you know, hit, you know, thrown out windows. I mean, just all, all kinds of stuff. And I guess what kind of like separates me from a lot of the other people is, is I don't charge, you know, for, for doing this. You mm -hmm. just can't because in the work that I do, it's, it's unethical and I've never been taught to, to do that. Tonight, Lou's taking me on one of his cases, a house possessed by demons. It's Lou's job to gauge the level of ghost activity there and come up with a way of driving them out. I don't know what I'm going to see, but I'm genuinely excited. I think irrespective of one's rationality or, uh, or skepticism, I think, you know, we're all creatures that, you know, you spend a night in a haunted house. I've done it before, being on, being on tour, spending a night in a hotel that was told that was, was, that room was haunted. And you can't, you, know, you can't help but sort of be a bit nervous or sort of apprehensive, irrespective of whether you believe in it or not. So um, I'm sort of looking forward to getting a bit, a bit spooked, I think. It's people, it's PR, it's marketing, it's that sort of thing. Yeah. Is that what you do? Yes. You look for people's skills, you put them in positions. It's some sort of headhunting, is that right? Recruitment, yes. that yes. sort of thing? What do you do? Recruitment consultant. It's fashion, it's an assistant in a shop. This is a fashion, specifically denim, yeah? You're selling denim, you're selling jeans, is that right? You were doing that and you haven't done it for a while. It's you, you recently come out of that job, is that right? Yes, yeah. Is that right? right, yeah. Fantastic. Oh my God. <laughs> Open your eyes. Take this guy, his walk, the gum chewing, the long coat, his confident, streetwise detached. He's protective of his girlfriend, so he's aware of the danger around him. 